One year, in, one year into this war, Putin no longer doubts the strength of our coalition, but he still doubts our conviction. He doubts our staying power. He doubts our continued support for Ukraine. He doubts whether NATO can remain unified. But there should be no doubt. Our support for Ukraine will not waver. NATO will not be divided, and we will not tire. <laughs> President Putin's craven lust for land and power will fail, and the Ukrainian people's love for their country will prevail. Democracies of the world will stand guard over freedom today, tomorrow, and forever. So that's what it's that's what's at stake here. Freedom. That's the message I carried to Kyiv yesterday, directly to the people of Ukraine. When President Zelensky said he came to the United States in December, quote, he said, This struggle will define the world and what our children and grandchildren, how they live, and then their children and grandchildren. He wasn't only speaking about the children and grandchildren of Ukraine. He was speaking about all of our children and grandchildren, yours and mine. We're seeing again today what the people of Poland and the people across Europe saw for decades. Appetites of the autocrat cannot be appeased. They must be opposed. Autocrats only understand one word, no, no, no. No, you will not take my country. No, you will not take my freedom. No, you will not take my future. And I'll repeat tonight what I said last year in the same place. A dictator bent on rebuilding an empire will never be able to ease the people's love of liberty. Brutality will never grind down the will of the free. And Ukraine, Ukraine will never be a victory for Russia, never. For free people refuse to live in a world of hopelessness and